Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. How to use emotional intensity, fire, emotional fire as a source of energy. So I want you to go and recall a moment where you might have had a fight or a moment of intensity with a lover, with a partner, with a woman you were with. And try to remember how intense or difficult or beautiful the love making was as a result of that. You see, going into the fire can be a powerful bonding experience for a couple. Going to the fire into intensity. If you're traveling and then suddenly you have a challenge where suddenly you have to run for your life, there is a fire, a volcanic eruption, God knows what, you know, and then you suddenly bond in this moment of intensity. The intensity, the peak experience is going to create an energetic trauma in your system that allows you to create connection. It's like what we could call uh, bonding through positive trauma, <laughs> you know? And so if, if this woman that you are with dives into intensity or you go into fight mode together and you don't die in the process, okay? You don't kill each other in the process, but you, you know how to stay there present and raise into intensity, it can be a really powerful, sexy, bonding experience together. Instead of being like, okay, well, we are in dissonance, we are fighting, let's get that out of our system and stay away from each other because we cannot communicate. You go like, no, let's, let's fight, let's develop abilities to be present in that field and then use that fire to rise vibration, to expand. This happens between men as well, right? Two men who know how to stay real and in the truth and argue from a place of honoring each other and each other's truth. It's a powerful experience. It's a bonding experience. You know, this is why in Western movies very often, they, you know, where there is a fight and then they go and get drunk together. Because it's bonding. It's a bonding experience to have a fight together. So it's not always bonding, you know, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's going to create dissonance, it's going to create separation, but sometimes this, it's in the middle of this fight, in the middle of this, what I call this fight gasm, there's even a term for that, that in the core of the friction, there is an energetic opening that happens between two human beings. So with uh, the context, in the context of romantic relationship, this is a really powerful experience. The woman that you are with the moment there is energetic and emotional intensity kicking in, that might be the peak energetic experience for the day, or for the week, or for a month, or for a year. When you recall, you say, where is the moment? When is the moment that both of us felt the deepest connection and the most alive and the highest in energy? And you go like, wow. That's when actually we had that fight, remember, on the beach there, we got, we got crazy with each other. Well, that's the one that I will remember, not because it was a bad experience, because of the energetic and emotional intensity that kicked in. Remember how good the love making was after that. So this is not a rule, okay? What I'm giving you right now is not always like that. Sometimes fights and fire can be really destructive, and that might mean the end of your relationship. You might create or connect with a sense of dissonance that is difficult to solve or, or heal. No, it's possible. What I'm giving you here is an access point and telling you that through the fire, through the intensity, moments of powerful bonding experiences can kick in. If you realize that, you will be like, wow, there is a certain nectar in that fire that is very unique. You know, it's like a very spicy food that you eat and you go like, wow, in the core of that fire, something magical is going to happen. And so if you are simply flatlining with your partner, with your girlfriend, you know, and then suddenly you have an explosion of fire, that explosion of fire and energy might be the peak, the peak experience for that specific period of time. Do you get that? So when fire is kicking in, don't be like, oh no, that's not useful. No, it is, it is. You can learn how to surf the waves of that intense fire, of that intense passion. I hope you get that. I'll see you soon for another tip.